Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you something awesome. Yes, it is a dirt block. I mean, they're so amazing. This is what's going to be in this video. This is dirt block. I mean, there is the occasional laser beam, but this is dirt block. It's like the best. The laser beams, eh, okay. But this dirt block, I mean, amazing. Okay, hello YouTube, this time for real. No, we won't be doing a dirt block video today. I know you're all torn up about that. We will be doing a power systems video. As you can see, my oxygen bubble generator, it no longer has a battery, but it's still generating oxygen. How? Well, it's quite complicated. No, not really. Um. I'm just gonna. First, I'm gonna explain this to you. First off, I have these solar panels. Amazing. They're collecting energy from the sun. They're actually advanced solar panels. They collect energy, and then they have a battery slot. And then you can. It will charge the battery, but it's not charging the battery. So where is all that energy? As you can see, it's collecting energy. Where does all that energy go? Well, into here. What is that exactly? Um, it is a... La laser. Um... Maybe it's just beam. Oh, yeah, okay. These are the two things it is. Now, it is a... Wait, it's an energy beam receiver. So, if I were to break this, you can see that it is red. Red means output. Green, if I am to break this, green means input. Red means output. So it's outputting here, inputting here. So if I place this on the input slot, that means energy is going into it and it's green. If I place it on the output slot, it becomes red, and that means it's outputting. Now I'm going to fix that, what I just did. I did a crime. So what exactly is happening here? Well, so this is placed on the red, so that means it's outputting. So the energy is going into here, turned into a laser beam, going through this block, and it's also coming out here, and it's all going into this input slot, which also has a laser beam receiver thingy, and then it is collecting that laser beam energy. I know, pretty swaggy, right? Right. I can also do this, which is an energy beam reflector, which is, yeah, which can conduct the energy in different directions, depending on where I place it. Now, this one is pretty simple. The energy is going into here, this output thing, traveling, going into the input slot. But then, what is happening in here? Well, this is an energy storage cluster. So it's actually storing the energy. As you can see, it's full. Full, full, it's full. And then, but then, where's the energy going after that? Well, it's going into this heavy aluminum wire. This heavy aluminum wire is a different method for carrying energy. It's carrying it to this other energy storage thing. This energy storage thing, we have an output here, the input. This is connected to the input, so the energy is going into the input slot because it's green. And then it's going out the output slot in the form of an energy beam, which is going into the input slot of this. Um, see, this is the input slot. As you can see, since I've extracted that, energy storage is going down, so I have to replace that. And for some reason, they're not connecting. No. 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 Bad. 
bad energy thingy. Bad. No! Bad, 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 very bad. Bad mister thing. Good now, good. Now it's connected again. Yeah. But anyways, the energy is coming up through this thing. First of all, it's being sucked up in the laser, being stored into here, and then the stored energy is traveling through, traveling through into here, where it's also being stored. It's being stored, and that's cool. And then being beamed to there. And instead of always going to there, that energy, that's the main energy storage, I've decided. It's going through these tubes, heavy aluminum wire, into the various machines that require power. Pretty simple, huh? No, not really. <laughs> um... I'm just going to review that one more time. If you think you've got it, then you've got it. So, energy goes out of the output slot. If it's red, it's output. Now, there's no input slot on this because this big blue thing is sucking up the energy. That's the basic input slot. Now, since it's on the output slot, it's going through into the input slot which is being stored, running through these wires, going to this machine where it's being stored as well, and going out the red output slot again, into the green input slot right here, green input, yeah. and of course it's not connecting again, not connecting properly, yep, yeah, there it goes, and it's also not only coming through here, but it's also branching off through here. Well, why do I have so many solar panels? Well, if I didn't, then there wouldn't be enough energy. But anyway, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. Running through that with you guys. Watch my oxygen system video that I've recently published on what these are. Now there's one more thing I need to show you. Time set one four zero zero zero. Ha! Now it's dark. It's dark, but it's light. Hmm. Strange. A little bit of light over there. A lot of light over here. Why? These things. These things do not need powering. They are called arc lamps and they are extremely good at repelling monsters so say we have standard creeper like boom running away it takes a while for them to react, but once they do, they literally, like, will leave. They want to get away from the... See? Walking away. Hates them. They hate these lights, bottom line. Um, they hate these lights, and that's why I place them all around the base. They will not spawn in these lights, as you can see. They, they're worse than torches for them poor monsters. They hate these lights. They... Oops. They will never go near these lights. But they end these lights strangely do not need power. Which is kind of good from a break. I think mostly zombies are repelled. Maybe not. Well, let's see what they have to say. Arc lamps are used to provide strong light in large area, also causing mobs to flake. Let's see how large that area really is. Very long compared to torch glowstone torch. Compared to glowstone torch, place down glowstone torch that big versus that big. Big difference. So that's that's all, folks. 
that's all. Those crazy lights and that crazy powering system. Amazing. Be sure to leave likes, subscribes, all that good stuff.